Welcome to the coastal city of Cádiz. Located on the southern tip of Spain, in the Andalusia region, Cádiz sits along the Atlantic Ocean and is one of the oldest inhabited communities in all of Western Europe. It was founded by the Phoenicians in the 9th century BC, and they built a port here as early as the 7th century BC. It then became a Roman colony, it was occupied by the Moors, and eventually it was taken by the Spanish in 1262. Even Columbus sailed from here on two of his voyages from Spain to the New World. Welcome to Cadiz. We are exploring for the day, checking out the beaches, the history, the cobbled streets, the little narrow spots, the plazas, one of which we are coming to now. And I'm taking you with me for the day, so let's go. We took the train from Seville, which took about an hour and 45 minutes. It's quite a distance for a day trip, so I recommend spending at least a night here to be able to enjoy the restaurants and all of the things to do around town. There are a lot of wonderful things to do in the center of Cádiz. I recommend starting in the main square where the Santa Cruz Cathedral is. It's a beautiful Roman Catholic church that was built between 1722 and 1838. The Cathedral Plaza is abuzz with people during the day, and there are a few cafes to grab a morning coffee or simply sit on the steps and watch the world go by for a while. Just a few blocks away is the Roman Theater of Cadiz. The theater is mostly in ruin, but you can walk up and through the seating area where over 20,000 spectators would have been able to watch the stage. Inside the museum, you can read about the Roman history of the city of Cadiz and see some of the other artifacts that were discovered in the excavation. You can also walk the tunnels behind the seating area, which was pretty cool. For a seriously delicious lunch, stop into the Central Market, where there are tons of different seafood stalls selling raw and cooked dishes to enjoy with a cold beer or a glass of wine. This place was so busy during lunchtime and the food was delicious. Be sure to pack your bathing suit because there are some absolutely breathtaking beaches to explore in Cadiz. We walked along the boardwalk from the old town towards the Castillo de San Sebastian. There's a nice long path out to the castle, which was unfortunately closed when I visited, but the views back over the beach from here were amazing. You also get the best view of the old bathhouse, which dominates La Caleta Beach. It's a short walk around La Caleta to reach the other castle in town. Castillo de Santa Catalina. Now this one was open and completely free to explore. This fortress was built in the 16th century and offers absolutely incredible views back over the coastline. But it's also a museum with different fascinating exhibits about the history of Cadiz that you should not skip out on. After exploring the fortress, we found a spot on La Caleta Beach to relax, soak up the sun, and go for a swim. As the day was coming to an end, we walked back through the old town, wandering through the chaotic streets of the Centro Histórico. The buildings here are so beautiful, with covered balconies and colorful details. I could have spent hours getting lost here, stopping to take photos and looking for what was around the next corner. Because Cadiz is an isthmus, there's water on both sides. So as I made my way slowly back to the train station, I walked along the other side of town along a beautiful boardwalk. People were jogging, cycling, and sitting on benches admiring the views. I 
I hope you enjoyed exploring Cadiz with me. The city is packed with things to see and do. There's the Museum of Cadiz, which was closed on the day I was visiting. There are more beaches to explore, like Santa Maria and Playa de la Victoria. I will definitely be back to this little slice of Spanish paradise very soon. Until next time, thanks as always for watching.